No, you, you know I know it's over. No, I know it's over. No, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure because you be switching up sometimes. How I switch up? Because you be like pro art and pro artist, but then you be like it's over. You you get at me. Get at me. Let's go. You got to pick a side, bro. Because you like to. I love you, and you like to lie to yourself. But that's a part of creativity. You know what I'm saying? You like to lie to yourself. Because we remember, remember, remember we talked about the other day. We were talking about uh, record label contracts and all this other stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, we talk about missing marketplace, and I'm not gonna get into the combo on Mike. We talk about the marketplace and shit like that, right? Yeah. You can't be pro all of that and then be you know pro art. Yeah, you can't be pro art. That's okay. But you're not pro marketplace. I'm not pro marketplace. But, but the art needs the marketplace, though. That, that says you. Art is art if there's no marketplace. Well, art for if commerce. One, if one person, and that's where our conversation gets tricky. I'm not on the side of music industry and music industry infrastructure, how they pay out, the rules, the setup, the design, the 360, the everything, the the lawyer to. You do know that every all of our biggest artists got the 360, though. Uh, let's see. I do not know that Drake is in a 360. Now, probably. You do not know. I'm talking about the beginning. Up, slow down. We ain't talking about the beginning. Yes, we are. Because that's how you find niggas. Don't do that. We talking about the beginning. Well, these niggas came after they changed the rules. It's investment. You know what I mean? We're not talking about 30 years the, ago when I got signed. The, yeah, I know. But the more you invest, the more return you want. So if I know I'm getting 15 or 20% of your touring, then I'm going to make sure you have an opening slot on this tour. I'm going to make sure you have some sort of tour support. I'm going to make sure that you have a bravado deal for your merchandise. I'm going to make sure that you have certain features because I get a return. If I only get a return on the music, then yeah, I'm not paying 50 grand for this verse, but I get you the graph verse that's 25 and you on your own when you on the road. Take your ass down to South by Southwest. You on your own when it comes to the merch. Take your ass down to the blah, blah. But everybody that has, you know, a pop-up shop or these certain things, the bravado type situations, they got a 360 deal. All of that is cute. The 360 is number 100 on the list of things wrong with the music industry infrastructure. Oh, 360 sure. is not at the top of the That ain't in the first 20 things we got to discuss. But I'm not all one, the way though? mad at the 360. What's number one, though? Niggas got mad at the me. The way they pay out. That's number one. You think so? Absolutely. Would have to be. Yes. To go pop. That changes generational wealth. It changes mm. generational wealth. You they, pull, they pull in Dog. tips. No, they pull in tips. I, 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 I you want more... me to tell you what happened with, with oh, man, come on, man. You're going to make me start. So you don't want to talk about, like, the cultural implications on the shit? Because generational oh. wealth is decent if you got, you know, it's easy if you got decent spending habits or like an appreciation for home ownership, an appreciation for education, you know what I mean? Median home income where I just moved from where the average home cost is three, $3 million, the median home income is like 120. That ain't even like a 30 minute set for me. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is I'm not the biggest artist. So if a 30 minute set ain't 110, and 120, that's the median home income, you know, Laguna Beach, California, Newport Beach, California, and we can get that five or six times in a I, month. I, 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 I'm talking about now. We're not talking about 30 years ago, as we said, because it was much different. But yeah, even, but even no, but my, that, wait, hold up, Ish. Uh-huh. My problem is you're talking about now, and I say generational wealth, which is we need to talk about the future. That's cool that you can do that when you walk on a stage yeah. and perform. I'm talking about what happens for your grand and great grandkids when you cannot perform. Of course, but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying saying is, generational wealth is based on setting something up. Knowledge. You can't really set something up based on how we treat people. The knowledge is next on my is right is right under my is right under my list. But 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 fix the money and then we'll work on getting the knowledge. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is culturally, we got so many bad stigmas that just fuck us. You feel me? Like we can say whatever we want to say about people's albums and if we like them or not because music being good or bad is subjective mm. but we had the biggest rapper in the world say he loved his wife and the niggas called him corny and took his career away from him so when we talk about generational wealth who the biggest rapper in the world oh chance when they was paying for it chance it wasn't was paying for it at the time yes but <laughs> you know what happens when they pay for it don't they the same niggas that pay for him pay for frank ocean and pay for drake at a certain point in time so he wasn't drake but i'm talking about up and coming he was yeah so at a point in time my chance come on we're talking about generational wealth niggas don't even want families no more dog who, niggas who, do not want to hear how much you love your wife sprinkled over 19 tracks i know but it's your job you like r&b though right love it what's the difference no, I don't R- wait. No I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear all R and B talking about. I love my wife and. I don't my, think the content oh, was hey. the issue with that album, by the way. No, I'm not saying it, but I, you, you know. can't love your wife that long. You can love your wife, but it's got to be fire. Think about what you just give said. Me That's one crazy. Per, give Pick me one, one person nigga. that did it. They love their In wife. Hip-hop? Over 19 well, tracks. Well, I have a long hip hop been fucked up since the beginning, so like you can't really put hip hop in that equation. Okay, then I win. You feel me? Marvin Gaye had his his girl on the whole album. 
and she was doing every run, every background. It was cool. Like, that was a thing back then. You know what I'm saying? But then niggas ain't well, doing that no more. Well, they was also signing was, adults back huh? then. <laughs> What'd you say? Those were also adult men back then. Yeah, now, but they was not what he signed. Not just that, but the message was different. Hip hop back in the day was yeah. baby, baby, please. I love you, baby, baby, please. These new niggas be talking about suck my dick. Bend over know. backwards on hip hop. I mean, on I R&B. Know, but them, them niggas just looked old back then, too. Yeah, he bro. He might have been 19. And, and, and be when free, I get that, that feeling, <laughs> <laughs> world be free. <laughs> nah, he was, he was yeah, old. He's such an old soul nigga. World be free. I'm just saying, them niggas look bad back then, bro. That, that was real oppression by the white men. Like, There's no other reason why you look like that. All right, so we signing With over. the fuzzy TV screen. <laughs> Oh, oh man. All, 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 so we, all I'm saying, bro, is if alone. a rapper show they fan base, they start her home that costs 700 grand, your career might be over. If a rapper showed a nigga that Toyota Corolla, your career might be over. He was 22. Facts. So when his I first album came out. That's young. I would say culturally, that's our that main thing. Because right. to be honest, like if you if you get a million dollar advance or a five hundred thousand dollar check, essentially you should be able to set something up. But when you get that, you talk about it all the time. Oh, you looking good. You got the watch. You got the chain. You got this. Mm -hmm. You got the people with you, blah, blah. All that shit costs money. So once we start leaning into that and a nigga got to blow the first 500 to so, get right, so a down payment on $2 million house is 200000 I mean, $1 million house, 200000 $2 million house is, you know, 400000 So if you get that in a decent neighborhood where your kids can go to public school, where you don't got to be overly fly, where you don't got to do all that extra shit, then you got generational wealth. So we can't say that niggas can't set up generational wealth when we say that motherfuckers getting millions of dollars and I could have been a dentist, I could have been a lawyer. Them niggas. No, nah, you make a good point, but that's tiny generational wealth. <laughs> What? <laughs> she South African <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be able to say. I'm not. I'm not gonna that be Jerry and Joe, yo. But I see the point. I see the point. But no, niggas don't want to do what you're talking about. New Joe Biden.